Good morning everyone. So I'm trying something new. Last night it took hours and hours to get the video to upload. So I'm trying the um, little camera thing on the YouTube thing. So we'll see how it goes. I, I have been got, gotten wonderful suggestions from my, my people who are watching. Hi. So um, somebody wanted to know, wait, I got to take my tea. It's just ready now. Hold on. Somebody wanted to know what tea I'm drinking. So I, this particular tea I'm drinking today is um, Murchie's Afternoon. And I like it because I, after I finish talking to you, I'm gonna go into write. And um, I like to have this one with a little touch of half and half. And, um, but different times I drink different things. So the first two ones I did, I'm not sure what to call it, vlogs. First two vlogs, I'm so fancy. I did while I was drinking peppermint tea because they were later in the day and so I don't drink caffeine later in the day. I've got, you might wonder because you hear a ticking, I've got my ticker on because I am, um, <laughs> I, you know, for those of you who follow me on Twitter and Instagram and which is kind of what made this whole thing happen, I made banana list banana bread, not on purpose, and it tasted really good, but those darn bananas were still on my counter. So I've got bananas, uh, banana bread cooking right now. So I've got my ticker going, but I'll be done before that. And uh, that's why I've got this goofy, uh, oh, I, I didn't know I had that on. I put this on and I also pull my hair back when I'm cooking and I wear an apron because um, I just don't want to get hair in the food. Go figure. Why would I? Why would that be? A, but I just have a real worry about about people eating something yummy and then going ew. So I always pull my hair back. Um, let's see what else. Oh, somebody wanted. Uh, several people had asked me about writing and writer's block and how I get around it. Different things work for me at different times. So when I first started writing, uh, I my spelling's gotten better. But what I would use, what I used to do, is write and I still do that. And then I go back and I start where I left off, where I wrote yesterday and I correct. So I start to um, fix sentences, change a little bit of this and a little bit of that. And it's a way to kind of trick my mind to get me back in the story and not just facing a blank page and to be able to slide into what comes next. But sometimes even then you finish what comes next and there's that page. And, um, Everybody has different ways of dealing with it. I, I belong to a, a group of women who are all writers. We're online and uh, we were talking this last Tuesday because we meet every Tuesday. And she said, I wait. She said, I get, and I write, and then, and then I just wait. And then when something comes to me, I write again and she's had many books published and this, you know, and that's the way she does. And then I know other people who just go balls to the walls and they might write. I have a friend who once said to me, oh, I had a really good writing day. I did 20 pages today. <laughs> I was like, holy smokes. I've never done 20 pages in my life. Never. So everybody's different. So that will help sometimes. Sometimes I find if I'm writing and I, I'm, I'm going and I'm writing and I'm trying and it's just not working. If I walk, if I step away from it for a moment, so I, I go downstairs and I play solitaire, not on a computer because computer or video type things, then my mind just numbs out, but with actual cards. So I'm not, I'm tricking myself. I'm kind of turning over the problem in my mind as I turn over cards. It doesn't matter if I'm going to win the solitaire or not. I'm not really paying attention. It's just a way to uh, slip in. And then sometimes something will come and I'll be like, oh, that's what I should do. Or go for a walk. Um, you know, now I'm not going out as much because obviously um, we're in quarantine. But then what I do is my daughter talked me into getting one of those little trampoline things. And so I... Um, I get on it sometimes if I'm, if I can't jostle and I just jump up and down a few times, like boink, 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 boink. Well, <laughs> I don't have to make the um, noise effects for you, but, uh, so that sometimes help go around, uh, go around the wall rather than bashing in. But sometimes you just have to sit yourself in the chair and just bash in. And I can be sometimes writing and just, it's grinding out, grinding out, and maybe four or five hours have gone. If I keep making a funny 
like that. It's because when I was making the banana bread, I ate some pecans and um, I just, uh, never mind, that's kind of gross, isn't it? But a piece of pecan came, so that's where I was. <laughs> oh dear, oh big. So anyway, that's that. Um, oh, I see, because I'm not supposed to go too long, I found out too. You aren't supposed to go on and on and on. So I did promise yesterday that there was something that I was going to show you. Remember when I went running away and um, said I was going to find something? Well, I found it. I forgot I even had this. I forget I have it every time. I tell my husband, remind me that I always forget things before I actually get older and then worry. And that's really come in handy because we've been together for almost 20 years now, coming on 20 years. And when I'm like, oh dear, I'm getting forgetful. He's like, honey, <laughs> you always were forgetful. So here it is. I'm making a little anticipatory noise. I'm rattling it around. It's in a baggie. I found it in a, I found it, I find it when I move. Cause when I move, I go through all my clothes and I, take things that I haven't worn and I donate them so people who need clothes will have them. So I try to always do a clean sweep when we move and um, <clears throat> we move a lot. <laughs> Hopefully we're done, but I always say that. My kids don't believe me anymore. So here it is, I'm taking it out. Look what that is. It's my, the um, leotard I wore for the big chill the opening sequence and I ha I didn't save something from all the movies I did. I saved, cool, huh? Or weird, one or the other, your choice. Um, I, I didn't uh, save, but there's, a, there's four things that I've worked on where I've saved something. I saved something from Bomb Girls. I saved something from Big Chill. I saved something from um, Agnes of God and I saved something from Valmont. So over the years, I wish I'd saved something from Amadeus because, but I, I gave the jacket, the crew jacket that I got to, uh, to the housekeeper in the, the hospital in Pro, uh, not the hospital in the, um, the hotel in Prague because I thought I'm going to have the beautiful film and the memory of Constanza forever in celluloid. I don't need to keep this and it's really, really cold in Prague and she had a very skinny jacket. But, um, and I, I guess it was a good thing to do, but it's one of my generosities that I, I regret a little just because when I didn't get to do that movie, I was so heartbroken and it, seemed almost like a dream that time. And, um, and so even though she was cold in hindsight, that's one that I wish I'd kept. But anyway, over the years, if I do this for years, gradually, gradually, every once in a while, I'll show you one of the things, but I only have four, so I'm going to have to spread it out. Okay. Hope you guys all have a wonderful day. Bye. Oh, I didn't drink my tea. This is tea time. La 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 la. Bye.